Hello everyone, this is Josh Oaks, and on this video we will be discussing seven tips to using video to promote your business. And our outside expert today is John Treefry. John, welcome to the video. Thanks for having me, Josh. Really excited to be a part of it. Well, we're excited to have you here. Now, what do you do at 4WT Media? So 4WT Media is essentially a company that creates and delivers high-impact video content. And that means that we do branded content and promotional videos and even TV commercials um, for some really exciting companies like Google, AT&T, Microsoft, full screen. And we're, we're really, we really sit in between technology and traditional media. I love it. And that's why we're here today is because you're going to give us some old school tactical tips can you walk us through the seven things you're going to teach us on this video? Absolutely, Josh. So it's really important, I think, that anybody who watches this, I want you guys to walk away with something valuable and actionable. Um, that's something that I really like about what you're doing, Josh, and, and why we put these, these, uh, these tips together. And really the first and foremost is producing content for your specific audience. And we can get into that and what that means. Uh, the second is creating a content plan. And this is a very actionable step-by-step um, -step guide that you're going to use. And next, we're going to talk about setting up your YouTube channel. It's not an option anymore. It's required. You've got to have, you've got to be on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And uh, to, to really get, get an insight into what to do on your YouTube channel, you should research your competition. And next we're going to talk about creating a video and really making sure it's on a consistent and regular schedule. Mm -hmm. And um, following that, we'll touch on how quality isn't as essential as the information and the actual content of your video. And finally, we'll talk about the calls to action that you can have in your videos and how that can very much impact your business goals with the content that you're creating. Awesome. Walk us through item number one, how to produce content for your specific audience. Absolutely. So really when we talk to a client and, and they talk to us about what should I create, I know that video is important. I know that video is the most engaging medium out there. But what do we do to actually make this content be valuable and help us connect with our audience and hopefully drive those people who see your videos to become your customers, your subscribers, and your fans. Because if, you're, if your videos are not impacting your business goals, then you're not doing it the right way. Mm -hmm. So what we really recommend here is producing content that is directly related and valuable for your audience. And that starts with understanding what who your customers are you know your business and really figure out what do they want and the 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 goal here is think about what will be valuable for them as opposed to what you may think you want to create you're in the end servicing your customers and your video should completely reinforce that and um you know, a few years ago, YouTube, when it was first getting really popular, it was all about, like, virality and how many hits do, do my videos actually have. Now, this has changed, and what really is, is the new paradigm is it's all about qualified and targeted views mm -hmm. so that it's, it's very much a, a, a question of, you know, how many of those views are going to actually result in a conversion for you? And, and that could be, you know, if you're, if you're an offline business, that could be somebody coming into your, subscribing your email letter and, and becoming a customer that actually walks into your store and buys, you know, buys some ice cream or whatever. Um, if you're an online e-commerce platform, they could actually become a customer within seconds. And that's really exciting. But the, the thing is, is, it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. So at the end of the day, a million views, if you only get 
you know, 100 customers from that is not nearly as valuable as 10,000 views that results in 500 customers. Mm -hmm. So it's really, that's, that's really the, the thing to think about is, is be specific about what you're creating and who you want to attract. And lastly, it's just so important to provide really, really good information and value for your customers. And this is, I think, something that is um, a lot of business owners will know inherently, and that's what they're experts at. They're experts in their business, but they often make the mistake of trying to produce like a commercial rather than just providing great information, and whether that's to inform or entertain or educate, um, your audience wants to watch something that helps them, and in turn, they're going to really create that connection with your brand and build loyalty to you. And eventually, you know, you may not be, be pushing your product or service, but you're, you're promoting your brand, and they're going to really begin to build that connection with you. So that's, I think, one of the, the biggest takeaways that you need to really be aware of as you're producing content for that specific audience. Awesome. Let's move on to item number two, creating a content plan. Totally. And this is, Josh, this is such an important step that I think a lot of business owners uh, should really take uh, take to heart and take seriously is understanding that the just, just putting a video up, you know, once in a while or, you know, paying – paying uh, your, your nephew who's a film student to, to make a video for you, it's not going to move the needle, and it's probably a waste of your time. And so you really need to approach this with a, with a very clear plan of what you're going to do, and that starts with mapping out your topics and what you want to actually create content around. Mm. And this is pretty simple. It's just around um, the you – can, you can look to your, your blog or – um, social media posts and really figure out like what what were performing well and what things really um, engaged my audience and those are great topics to create video content around and you can also look at things that your customers often ask you or an FAQ these are all great things to build your topics around mm -hmm. and once you once you have a, a list and you map that out it's <clears throat> it's been important to really figure out okay how are my customers going to see these videos and we're going to talk about this in a little bit but I you know I can't say enough about being on YouTube it is yeah. the platform for video and it's really um, the best way to get your videos in front of your target audience. And so, um, but this will also have to do with where your, where your video is actually going to be seen. Is it on computers? Is it on mobile phones, tablets, even, even TV? Um, and so just thinking about, you know, how your, how your videos are going to be consumed and where your audience is going to be watching these videos is also important. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's, it's, it's really good as well as you're, as you're building out your plan to look at the keywords that are related to your business. These are going to be um, vital in your other content of what you're creating, so your, what you're blogging about, what you're posting on your social media channels, um, what you, the copy and the messaging that you have on your website. These are all related to the keywords that you really want your business to rank for. And SEO is a completely different discussion, but I, I will say that it, it's totally in step with your keywords, uh, what you're trying to do um, with your keywords elsewhere with video. And so you should really look at uh, Google Keyword Tool for research that's a great place to look and say you, you should have you should be already doing this for your business as you're as you build up build out your website and if you're blogging 
but if you haven't, if you're, when you're creating your content plan for video, it's a great time to do some research and say, um, what are the things that my customers are going to be searching for that I want my company or my business to be associated with? Mm -hmm. And you can look at the competition and the volume of each of those keywords. And so, for example, you know, if you're in insurance, that's a, that's a really um, – that's a really co competitive keyword because there's so many companies that are online that are um, gunning to rank for that. Now, if you get a little bit more specific and maybe it's, um, maybe it's uh, life, life insurance Los Angeles, you, know, you, start to, you start to drill down and really see um, how you can, you can rank and your business can be in front of people for keywords that are directly related to what you're doing. And you could use that information to then create your videos, and maybe you could create a video specifically around tips for finding the best life insurance in Los Angeles or around Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And that video will give you amazing SEO for, um, for, your, for your website and for your YouTube channel. It just works across the entire... You're in, Higher digital footprint will be impacted in a positive way by doing this. And, yeah. and for um, everyone that's watching this video, they're probably wondering, how do I get find the Google keyword tool for my small business? You can go to google.com and just search in the search box, Google keyword tool. And then usually it's going to come up first because Google owns it. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And it's, um, it's, it's really easy to use. You know, you can even watch a YouTube tutorial on how to use it. And I, you know, just as a quick sidebar, I do this all the time. Whenever I don't know how to do something, I will Google that exact thing. And oftentimes there's a video that shows you exactly how to do that. Yep, so true. And the last part of this, Josh, is really around creating a schedule that is uh, your plan for how you're going to actually produce and release your video content. And mm -hmm. this should be something that's realistic. It's not, you don't have to, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, and you don't have to um, have an amazing library of videos right out of the gate. You know, start small and really, whether this is on a, um, you know, monthly or weekly basis, just make something that is in line with your schedule and, or your calendar rather, and something that's manageable and that you can really execute again and again, because we'll talk about this in a bit, consistency is really key to being yep. successful with video. Yep. So talk to us um, about the, that, the tactical tip. Yeah, I, I touched on this a little bit before, but I think what's, what's really um, insightful with blogging and social media is these are great. These are great places to harvest topics for video and really those keywords, because if you're getting a lot of traction with your blog post about um, life insurance in Los Angeles, that tells you that your audience is really responding to that, and that's a great place to look for topics for your video and those mm -hmm. keywords. Mm -hmm. Um, typically will be the ones that you really want to be associated with um, because they are low competition and high volume. And I love that because it's all about asking our customers what do they want. And when they comment on blog articles or like social media posts, they're telling you, hey, this is what I'm interested in. And you can go rank your keywords around that. Totally, and one you can even take that one step further, which is if you have a blog, you have a Facebook uh, fan page, you have a Twitter account, whatever channels you have that you're interacting with your customers directly, ask them, yep. what would you like us to create video content around? Yep. It's a great place to start. That's a good point. I love it. Well, let's move on to the next one, how to set up or why we should set up our YouTube channel. This is so crucial. I mean, the the um, 
I was just hearing on the radio. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. This has been a preview of the Media Leaders Virtual Conference, where you can learn social media, PR, marketing, and sales. There's 20 plus tactical presentations to build your business. You can learn more about it at medialeaders.com or register using the link below this video, right below it. Maybe it's above it, but probably below. Now, this conference, you're probably asking, why should I even register? Well, don't buy a plane ticket, don't reserve a hotel room, or don't even leave the office because we're bringing two dozen of the best social media PR, marketing, and sales professionals directly to you, and we call it the Media Leaders Virtual Conference. It's a little bit different. You can register, at, like I mentioned, at medialeaders.com or use the link below this video. It's designed for small and mid-sized businesses that want online techniques and real-world business advice that's tactical. We're going to give you seven tactical tips in less than 45 minutes from each one of our professionals, over two dozen presenters, that you're going to get the chance to dive in deep into their subject matter. They're experts in their field, and they're the hardworking people that we admire and that we want to hire here at Media Leaders. You can watch the presentations on your schedule at any time, as long as you want. Also, if you accept our bonus at the end, you get a free copy of my best-selling book, Light, Bright, and Polite. And as, it, as if that's not enough, you get a 100% money-back guarantee if you're not 100% satisfied. I hope you'll join us at the Media Leaders Virtual Conference. You can register at medialeaders.com or click the link below this video. I look forward to seeing you at the conference. Have a great day.